My name is Doug Hills, and welcome to this introductory video for the Ultimate Storyboards Assets Pack for Clip Studio Paint, presented by Graphics. The goal of this video is to help you through the steps needed to use this pack in Clip Studio Paint, whether it's by copying and pasting elements into a project, or registering these elements to materials so they can be quickly used as needed. If you have not purchased your pack yet, simply head over to graphicsly.com on your browser, select Add-ons on the main menu, and click on Storyboard Pack. Once downloaded, all we have to do is unzip the zip file. On Mac, you just double click on the zip file and everything is unpacked into a separate folder. On Windows, click on the zip file, right click, and select Extract All. Choose your destination for the extracted folder and press Extract. Opening the folder, we'll find a Clip Studio Paint.clip file and a TIFF file. To open either of these files in Clip Studio Paint, I found the easiest method is to place a Finder or Explorer window above the program, select the file, or in this case I'll select both, and then just click and drag over to the program. If that doesn't work, simply come up to the main menu, select File, Open, navigate to the place where the file has been extracted, and then open either of the two files. Both the TIFF and CLIP files contain all the storyboard assets for our pack. The key difference is that the TIFF file is only one layer with a white background, while the CLIP file has individual clusters of assets on separate layers. The assets are broken down into the following sets. Portrait, Video Game, Icon, Fashion, Food, Decoration slash Toy slash Gift, Gesture, Electronics, Roadside slash Signs, Treasure, Hand, Stationery, Japanese Decorations, furniture slash appliance, animals, and kitchen slash bathroom. It's important to note that the TIFF file does not have a transparent background. It's just the images on a white background. Now, if you'd like to use the elements with just the line art, I would suggest using the clip file. As I noted, the clip file has each group of assets on their own separate layer, which you can see over here on the layers palette. If you want to save a little bit of time and not have to switch between each layer to select the asset you want to use, Click on the Asset folder and then come to the main menu and select Layer, Merge Selected Layers. And now all the assets are on one layer. Just make sure not to save this file if you want to keep these asset groups separate later on. To add an asset to an existing page, first select the Lasso or Marquee tool, not the Marquee tool here, then draw a selection around the asset you wish to use. I'll select the Xbox controller. Then from the main menu, Edit. Copy, then Edit, Paste. Then I'll select Edit, Transform, and then use any of the transformation functions here to resize, change the angle, distort, skew, whatever I need to make this element work for the storyboard that I'm working on. In this case, I'll select Scale Rotate. Keep in mind that you are working here with a raster or pixel-based layer, which means that the more that I transform it, or if I scale larger than the original element, there will be some degradation in quality. To try and minimize that, I'm gonna come up to the main menu and select Layer, Convert Layer, and I'm going to turn this, I'll call it Xbox, and I'm gonna change it from a raster layer to an image material layer. So I'll press OK, and now I can transform using the Object Select tool, and now I can Scaling will still have this issue of the lines will get a little blurrier, but I will still be able to transform it, rotate it, switch to distort. I can distort it and do pretty much whatever I want, as much as I want, without worrying about the image quality degrading beyond you know, scaling up a little higher than what the original image was. If you find an asset that you feel you might be using fairly frequently, why not register it to Materials? Before we do that, let me come up to the main menu and select Window, Material, and I'll select any of the options here, because really, I want to get to all materials. And I'm going to create a new folder. I'll call this Ultimate Storyboard. Coming back to the Assets, select the Marquee tool. I'll use the rectangle one. This time, I'll select the PlayStation controller. I select and I'm going to go to the main menu and select Edit, Register Material, Image. 
I come over to the location to save material and I'm going to save this to the new ultimate storyboard folder that I created. And I'm going to call the material PlayStation controller. And before I press OK, I'm going to check the scale up, scale down button. And I'm going to make sure that adjust after pasting is selected in the drop down list. Coming back to my blank page, I'm going to select the PlayStation controller asset I've just created, and I can either press the paste button down here, or I'll just click and drag to the canvas. And because I checked the scale up, scale down checkbox, the asset is automatically created as an image material layer, which means that, like before, I can scale up, scale down, rotate, do whatever I need to this asset for the scene. All I have to do at this stage, come back to my clip file, and repeat this process for any of the other assets I'd like to add to materials. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this introductory video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I hope that you found it useful, and I really hope you will enjoy playing around with the Ultimate Storyboard Pack for Clip Studio Paint presented by Graphics. My name is Doug Hills, and I'll see you around.